Live from Brewcraft Beer Pub on East Street in Rotorua for the Crankworks World Tour. Bicycle, bicycle. This is the Radio Horaki Big Show. Oh, good day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this uh, Wednesday afternoon. It is the uh, 20th of March, 2024. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night and day. And I tell you what, fellas, how good to be back in my hometown of uh, Rotorua at the Brew Craft Beer Pub uh, in Eat Street, which I've never seen before. What a magnificent setup! And uh, talking of magnificent setups, my God, Mogi, you Randy Stallion, you're looking sensational. How's life? Yeah, you're going pretty grousy, you mad dog, you sick son of a bee. And I tell you what, there's a few uh, backbones around here that have got some goddamn haircuts on them. There's a young fella sitting outside there. He's wondering if he's allowed to be let in a pub in his school uniform and he's about 10 years old. Good on he's you, He's got mate. one of the all-time great mullets. Yeah. Oh, great Congratulations, mullet. brother. You'll be a backbone in no time. I've got no doubt about it. Speaking of backbones, how about you, Keezy? Oh, uh, look, can I just say, like, we've done a lot of live shows around the country. Yeah, man. I've got goosebumps for the turnout in Rotorua. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely... It is going It is off, sensational. Baby. And i got to say, if you want a spot down here at Brew Craft Beer Pub on Eat Street. You better get down here quick, smart. Yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting looking out into this ocean of people here. Um, two of them know what's going on, and the other eight are wondering where the hell they've stopped at. Uh, they're waiting for their uh, their fish tacos, and uh, they've got the big show instead. Yeah, great stuff. Bonus material. I just want to warn you, fellas, before the show start, I was at a bit of a loose end. So I've already had one Red Bull, one coffee, one chocolate milkshake and five glasses of water. So uh, it could be that throughout the show I'll be doing a lot of wheeze. Well, I, I managed know. to get one water under my belt, and I'll tell you what, it had more flavour in it than eight litres of Prime. Yeah, it was, it's good and stuff. She's, right? she's and, a and this is the great thing about getting back into my hometown. As soon as that, that smell hit my nostrils, yeah. that beautiful, beautiful smell of Rotorua. The Hauraki Big Show Podcast. And we're live from Brewcraft Beer Pub in uh, Eat Street in beautiful Rotorua, uh, Rotorua City. So if you're in the area, come on down because we've got bar tabs to give away. We've got backbone t-shirts to give away. And I tell you what, it is absolutely going off at the moment. So right. get your asses down here. Good times it, for all. It is absolutely pumping. I know there's been a bit of chat around the table about the uh, the dance artist uh, Fred again. He's going to be in Wellington, but there's no way he's going to beat the atmosphere that we've got down here at Brewcraft Beer Pub. Um, just in between the songs, there people are loving the tunes. We've got a couple of uh, couple of boomers all the way from the UK via Spain. Been sat on the couch there with their, their glasses perched on the end of their noses as they trawl through Facebook. Um, so they're having an absolute ball. Yeah, Tony. It's the 60th, I believe, Mogi, actually. Oh, 60th, really? 60th celebrations. Good yeah, well, welcome. Welcome. So good. I mean, I tell That's you, the kind of vibe we have at yeah, the big show. Totally. Never come down and celebrate their 60th birthday parties. I'm very sad to see, though, the fella that had come to read his book has disappeared for some reason. Oh, uh, no, no. I can give you an update on oh, that. Yes, he, what's he, going he ducked on off to the, uh, to the toilet to finish his book, and he's just asked for assistance because he can't stand up. Right. He's in his 70s. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. good, good stuff. Have you guys seen the documentary on Woodstock 99? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll tell yeah. you what, yeah. if we don't be careful, it's going to turn into that. Well, it's one of those. It's actually one of those situations, because we've done a lot of OBs, we've done a lot of shows on the road. What films. are OBs, Jase? Uh, off-site broadcast for people that don't know what an OB is. Um, and they can get pretty crazy, and already this is getting pretty out of control. So I'm, I'm really worried that we're not going to make it to 7 o'clock. But I tell you what I'm also worried about, Mogi. I travelled down with old Keezy yeah. and Putsan, Um And I tried to get my playlist going there on the old stereo, but the fellas were having none of it. Yeah, right. What kind of tunes are you playing, though? Oh, hard rock, man. Um, you know, some, some really good, solid rock and roll. But these guys are into a bit of rap. A bit of what I would call yummy boys music, yeah. you know? Sort yep. of no instruments, just douche, 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 douche. Yummy boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. Well, basically what the situation was is that me and Pugs were on a vibe in the front seat. We were playing tunes that everyone loves that no one hates, like Flashing Lights by Kanye West. Uh, a few tunes from Mick Miller, uh, good stuff like that. And then we'd be like, Jace, you like this, right? And we'd turn back to the back seat and he'd be like, this is the most terrible music I've ever heard. Yeah. But I could tell he did actually like it. And so his whole thing is pretending that he doesn't enjoy the music that we like. 
What's that about? He just keeps trying to put the deaf tones on. Yeah. It's like, yeah. save it for the throbber, Jace. Yeah, I, don't know. I think the answer is probably to go without the music. What silence? Do you know what I mean? Just complete silence and have a chat. I reckon you guys could go with getting to know each other a yeah, little bit Yeah, but then, you know, Keezy and I would have to have a chat and we don't really get on. Yeah. Uh, because I just want to add, too, that on the way down, both Pugsan and Keezy were in a hoor of a mood. Yeah. So I had to, you know, just try and settle everyone because they were snapping at each other. It was just a nightmare <laughs> from beginning to end, Mogi. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, really. I think you guys just have to um, take turns. You know, and it must be your turn by now, Jay. So I, I think, think on the way so. home tomorrow. On the way, I think back. the way home tomorrow when you leave at sort of six a.m. after Pugsan and Keezy here have had a massive night um, on the crafties down here at Brew Craft Beer Pub. Responsibly, um, you can start pumping out some of your deaf tones. No, I'm deaf tones a bit of Katy Perry, I reckon. The Hodaki Big Show weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. We're also here, aren't we, fellas, for uh, for Crank Works? Yeah, Crank Works, a week long mountain bike uh, festival here in Rotorua, ten year anniversary too, fellas. Yeah, yeah, we went along there um, today, didn't we? Spent um, hours down there, and it's bloody, it's a huge event. It's I, massive. It, man. I had no idea that it was as big as it was, but there's uh, there's plenty going on down there. There's all sorts of different races happening. Um, there's a lot of different courses that we've got down there, and uh, uh, a lot of shops, a lot of things you can try out. There's electric bikes and trikes and all sorts of things. There's clothes, Keezy. Yeah. You can buy clothes there. And all these tracks are sort of all underneath um, the gondola or skyline, I think they call it here. So it's a bloody great event. I recommend getting along if you can. It is a really funny story, actually, fellas. Um, my daughter came down with me because uh, she's never been to my hometown. And I said, oh, you should you know, take a day off school and, and come down with old yeah. dad. Um, old, old dad, old dad yeah. and, and she uh, she went along because she said, "Oh, I'm not really into biking, dad." And I said, "Oh, well, or come any along of your anyway. stories, or any of my stories, or just your life in general. Uh, I find very tedious." Uh, but she did agree to come, so we went along to Crank Works, and she was blown away by the setup there. And she said, "Dad, you know what?" I wouldn't mind having a bit of a tutu on a bike if you don't. She's never ridden a bike in her life. Really? Never, never ridden a bike in her life. How old oh. is she? She's 16. That's no, crazy. Can I just say, Jace, you failed her as a father. Oh, she was never interested in that sort of stuff. Mate. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, She yeah. was usually studying. She was doing her law degree and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, so I said to the organisers there, I said, do you mind if my daughter jumps on one of the bikes and uh, has, has a go on one of the courses? And they said, yeah, no worries, Jace. Uh, maybe start her off on the beginner's course there. And, and my daughter said, no, 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 I want to go right up the top there. Wow, because that's reserved for the world's best. That's the professional. Yeah, yeah the that's, that's the professional. bikers. That's the professional circuit there, Mogi. Hang on a minute. Uh, and so she did, and she hooned down, got the fastest time of the day, uh, and she's never ridden a bike in her life. So much so, because it's a Red Bull-sponsored event, that one of the fellas from Red Bull came up to me afterwards and said, excuse me, mate, is that your daughter? They went uh, through you. Okay. They went, yeah, and I said, yeah, no, yeah, that's my daughter. And he said, I have never seen a more natural bike rider wow. in my life. Can I have a little word with you maybe later on and we can discuss her future? Wow. wow. So it's looking like she scored herself after her first ever bike ride a contract with Red Bull. Gee whiz, that's unbelievable. It's, you must be bloody proud. Oh, look, I mean, if it brings cash into the family, I'm stoked. Yeah, I mean, I wish I, could, I, wish I had a great throw. I mean, obviously, um, I've got you know a daughter, as you do, Jace, just the one for me, and uh, just about to turn five soon as well, and she's had an incredible amount of achievements already. Um, but mountain biking wasn't really her, hasn't really been her thing, or any kind of biking really. Sure. Um, we came to Crankworks last year, so she would have been what's that? Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Yeah, and they've got those um, those bloody. Ju- and she, I, I lost her, man. You know, father's worst nightmare. I lost her in the crowd. She was gone. Yeah. And I'm freaking out. Um, and then all of a sudden, people, I just hear people cheering in the background. Turn around. They've got those massive jumps. Yes. They oh, the do. slope yeah, style yeah, stuff. Huge yeah, jumps yeah. there. And she just goes bloody flying, man, all the way up and hit the gondola, hit the sky. <laughs> oh, wow. And it was that high, man. And since then, they've actually had to redo it and make it even higher because because of what she did that day. She but got she so was, much air. She got so much air. So they, they, they were saying that nobody's ever had that much air ever in the history of the world, man. Right. Sure. And so the guy from Red Bull, I think it was the same guy you're talking to today. Andy said he's the best. She's the best he's ever seen, and that will never change. And ever. how old was she? Three and a half. Really? And so yeah. they, wow. they they raised the gondola rather than just moving the ramp. No, nah, no, nah, they they moved the whole gondola up. That is wow. so funny, man, because 
after after you know my daughter did, did that first run down that you know the professional track because she um, she saw the massive jumps there. Um, and when, oh, they weren't there today. Uh, there's, there was a massive jump there. And uh, she said, can I have a bit of a go on that, Dad? And I said, well, jeez, why not? You've got yourself a Red Bull contract now. Fill your boots sort of thing. She comes hanging down the old, the old ramp there, Mogi. Doosh off the ramp over the gondola. Wow. Uh, wow. And, that, and that's after it's been it's raised just been up. raised. It's been that's raised crazy. up. Wow, that is um, unbelievable. And then landed on the professional track again um, and, and hooned down the rest of the track. Unbelievable, Oh, man. well, kudos to her, man. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And how old is she? Well, she's 16. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's, how old is your daughter? Oh, yeah. She's only four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. She did that so. when she was three and a half, so now. Yeah, but that's all good, man. That's yeah, still good. Yeah, yeah, you must be proud. Yeah, 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 yeah Apples yeah, yeah. and oranges, Jace, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's funny, so isn't good. it? Hey, just a reminder, if uh, <laughs> you're in... <laughs> If you're in Rotorua, come down to uh, Brewcraft Beer Pub in Eat Street. I think I've worked out why there's not that many people here. And I think everybody's about? down at Crankworks. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so once that finishes, it'll be, she'll be uh, chocker down here, I guess. Yeah, let's just leave some awkward silence before the ads. Yeah, let's do it. Hang on. Yeah, that's good. Oh. The Horaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Kesey. Weekdays at four on Radio Horaki. Here they come. Try time. Oh. Holy cow, the Warriors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up the Warriors, baby. It's the big show in Brizzy for the NRL Magic Round. Feels like magic. Feels like magic. Is there anyone out there? Let's go to the phones. How good, eh, fellas? Uh, the big show in Brizzy for the uh, magic round of the NRL. We love our rugby league on this we show. We certainly do, Chase. Just saw a text here on 3483. It says, hey, fellas, what's the magic round all about? Yeah. Uh, so just letting you know, magic round is a magnificent round in the NRL. Every single team playing that weekend plays all of their games at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. The big show is going. Me, Hoity J, Old Mogi and Pugsan. And we would like two backbones to join us as well. So yeah. to get yourself in the draw for that, you call us 0800 Hodaki. Bloody ripper. Can't wait. All thanks to our mates at boystrip.co.nz. Yeah, and we've got a few callers on the line as expected, fellas. Craig, you mad bastard. How's life? How you going? Yeah, good. Thanks, Craig. Uh, you love your rock league, do you, Craig? Yeah, do you? Oh, I love it. Good on you, mate. Uh, what did you think of the game over the weekend? Yeah, can't complain. We're doing all right. It'd be better to watch it live. Yeah, good on you, mate. I'll tell you what, you stay on the line and our good mate, uh, Brooke and Studio B, will sort you out. Johnny, you mad bastard. How's life? You good, eh, guys? How are you going, Johnny? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good, thanks, man. What do you do for a crust? I'm a land server. Oh, oh backbone! And you love your rock league, Johnny? Oh, do I what, mate? Do I what? Yeah, good, good stuff. Who are you going to take with you if you win the prize? Oh, the missus, obviously. Oh, oh, my wife. God. My right. wife. Well, does she love her rugby league, man, or is she going shopping while you go to the league? She'll be shopping, mate. She'll be shopping. Well, oh, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, mate. You put a little cross through this, Actually, maybe, yeah, pugs. Yeah, I might uh, go shopping as well, so that's yeah, fine. I'll be going shopping. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably do a bit of shopping as well. So, yeah, actually, yeah. Pugs, um, can you put two, two ticks by uh, Johnny, if you could? Thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah thanks, good. mate. Hey, let's go to uh, stay on the line, st- um, Johnny, and our mate Brooke will take care of you. Stephen, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, good. Good. Oh, yeah, come on, yeah, Stephen. Yeah. Put a bit of oomph into it, brother. You're on the radio. Yeah, come on, man. Oh, it's bloody brilliant. Yeah. Lovely yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking, yeah, what do you do for a crust, Stephen? Uh, I teach. But, uh, oh, oh backbone. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I teach or I IT? IT. IT. I IT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good on you. And, uh, <laughs> Stephen, your backbone, who would you take with you? Uh, the wife, yeah. Oh, yeah, good on oh, you, yeah, mate. She, is she going to do a bit of Should shopping as well, or she'll watch the Bokba League? Ah, uh, yeah, no, she she loves watching it too, so... Yeah, oh, yeah just the way you sound a bit sad about it, yeah. man. You're good, man? Actually, Pucks, uh, yeah. can you put a cross through Stephen, please? No, uh, don't, uh, that's not how it works. Because I do, I do want to do a bit of shopping while I'm over there, because apparently the shopping's amazing, boys. Yeah, it is. It really is. Uh, congrats, Steve, mate. You're in the draw, right? So you awesome. just go to Brooke and Studio B. Well, she's actually at Studio A. 
Oh, yeah. Because we're in Rotorua right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So once again, huge shout out to boystrip.co.nz. If you would like to guarantee your spot on this trip, it is happening mid-May. We're going to Brizzy. We are watching eight games of rugby league, Jace. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Boystrip.co.nz. Guarantee your place. Otherwise, keep listening to Hodaki and keep getting ready to call 0800 Hodaki. And remember, if you are in uh, Rotorua at the moment, come down to Old Eat Street Brew Craft Beer um, Pub. Yeah, that's right. We've got a, uh, a couple of uh, food and beverage. Uh, vouchers that we're going to hand out. Yes. Um, valued at 100 bucks. Whoever brings the most people down here uh, will get one of those. Yeah. All and, right. And don't now, you better be quick. There's not a lot of room. Yeah, she's filling up fast. And backbone t shirts as well, there, Mogi. Yeah, backbone t shirts as well. In fact, we've got a young fella over here who's just having a. He looks, what's he? Probably about 11. 10, no, he's 11 17. Years old. He's 17. He's just having his first beer down here. Good yeah, on you, fella. We'll yeah, get you a, get you yeah. a backbone t shirt as well, what, brother. Yo, mates. give it up for the young boy. Yeah, yeah. Get in your boy. He's got overalls on. He's worked a hard day. He's so. a goddamn backbone. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Yeah, yeah. And as you know, fellas, uh, it's great for me to come home. I'm a, I'm a Rotorua boy, and uh, and I've had so many of the locals come up to me since I've come home and just you know shake my hand and. You know, congratulate me on the legend that I've become. Um, sort of, sort of a country boy gone to the big city, made good, and uh, so many people giving me hugs and saying how proud they are of me. And it's been really humbling, actually. I've got to be, I've got to be honest with you. It's been an amazing thing to see, Jason. You, yeah. you are still a man of the people. You know, can oh, I absolutely. say that, man? Yeah, blue collar. Mate. You are blue collar. Blue collar. Not only have you got a blue collar um, on that boat shirt that you wear, and you also still wear that filthy. Cap that you refuse to wash, man, and that makes you really relatable, I think. Yeah. Totally, man, it's, totally it does. Jace, would you agree with me when I say that it's almost movie-like? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You, yeah. Have yeah. you seen Forrest Gump? Yeah, I have seen Forrest Gump, actually. Well, here's the thing, too. Um, the mayor came in before. Yeah, oh, what? is that who that was? Yeah, yeah. What's and, that person's name? Oh, God, it's just... Just gone out of my mind just at the moment. Just uh, the first names all you need. Oh, I can't even remember. The, what, male or female? Oh, oh. <laughs> I know you don't see sex, do you? I, Everyone's just human to you. Yeah, everyone's yeah, just a human yeah, being. Yeah, Can I put it like yeah, that, yeah, mate? Yeah, 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 but yeah. Um, that person <laughs> uh, is organising a bit of a, a bit of a parade down uh, to Tanakai Street oh. uh, uh, later on for old Hoodie J. And geez, what can I say? Well, you know? if there's as many people in that parade as there are down here at Brewcraft Beer Pub, it'll be a hell of a show, mate. Uh, it'll be a doozy. Yeah. But you know what I what I reminded of actually, Mogi, since coming down, the beautiful smell of Rotorua, you know, in your yeah. nostrils, and you guys with your massive <laughs> snozzers would have absolutely <laughs> been sucking in that beautiful. Fragrance. Well, as you were saying yourself, man, you could start smelling it when you come down the Bombay Hills there. It just started peeking out, you know. But it's, it is one of those places where it's got still got that small town vibe where it's also one of the greatest tourist attractions that the country has got. Absolutely. Um, it's got the small touches, like I know down here they certainly have those beautiful pours, you know. You see a, um, a glass of wine come out here and it looks like it's got half a litre in it. Uh, the glass is filled right up to the brim. I saw it come, one come out earlier on. I thought, geez, that's a big glass. And it got handed to a woman holding a three-week-old baby. And I thought, oh, that's bloody beautiful. Yeah, that's that, a New, that is. That's the New that Zealand I know and love. Because yeah. you know that nothing gets deep inside my goat, Mogi. Like, you know, when they give you a wine glass and it's about a fifth full. Thank you. You know what I mean? You know, and I just took a little wander down to beautiful Lake Rotorua before. My God, it was gorgeous. I seen all the little ducklings and birds there. A bit of oil slick on them and stuff, but just waddling around. God, it was something to behold, Keezy. It is a beautiful place to have uh, grown up, Jace. And to be like, be honest, have you missed that smell? Oh, totally I have, man. It's and good for you. And when you came over Put the... Put tears bo- on your chest, Keezy. Well, that explains it. Uh, when you came over the Bombay Hills and you could smell it, obviously you could also probably smell the Oyster House and Bluff. Oh. But you tried to, you know, zero in on the Rotorua smell. Um, did it bring memories of home? Oh, absolutely, man. Um, and if you guys uh, have got a bit of time tomorrow, I'd like to take you for a bit of a ticky tour around the place. Oh, Do they still have the train down at the park there? Oh, 
Oh, is that gone? You're kidding me. Now, I got oh. derailed and it was a terrible accident. Dozens, oh, was it? Dozens hospitalised. I don't like to talk about it around here, Jace. You shouldn't have brought that up, brother. Well, I do remember I do remember my mum going down to the park down there and getting little bottles of mud. Oh, I remember From that. the mud pools and rubbing it on her face and stuff. Yeah, I remember oh, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, she got cancelled for that, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, well, she did. And she got third degree burns <laughs> one time because she went down there pretty steamed. But... Um, <laughs> Good times. It is. It's a beautiful place. And I will say that that lake is stunning. Of course, it's got the highest concentration of plastic waste in the country. In oh, there. you're joking. Yeah, yeah. No, so it is. It's beautiful. It's sunset. There's all sorts of different colours going on down there. It is. Uh, yeah, get your camera out. Get a selfie down there at, uh, at dusk. Yeah. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. I just actually met a fella who listens to the show all the time, fellas, who scored himself three night and day vouchers. That's Whoa. good going. How, how good. That's hey. good eating. Yeah. Hey. That's good, man. Yeah, that's good stuff. Well, now, now, Keezy, I understand... Um, you need old Mogi and Hoity J to give you some advice regarding your wife's birthday present. Well, okay, and this is a bit of a hack. My alarm went off this morning saying that in two weeks' time it is my wife's birthday. Sure. So I set a, a yearly reminder saying, hey, in two weeks' time it's your wife's birthday, so start working on a present now. I've come up with a really good idea. I think she's going to love it, but I'm just a bit worried about the message it's sending. Sure. Wouldn't mind you guys' opinion on it. Yeah. Yeah, Hit so, us, Keezy, hit us. What I'm getting my wife of almost two years, I've been with her 13 years now, uh, all up. Oh, so good, mate. Thanks, guys. <laughs> One round of applause in the corner the there. The bar just blew up in uh, yeah, 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 excitement yeah, yeah. and appreciation. Woo! Thank you. Um, two years. Stuff. Uh, I think she would really appreciate like a fitness tracker. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, it's because she loves doing her fitness, fellas, and she'll put it on her arm there and it'll be, oh, my... Beats per minute and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. I think yeah, she'd be yeah. really into that. What do you reckon? Well, yeah, I mean, a couple of years ago, I got my wife a... Um, my wife? A robot vacuum. A robot a vacuum. A robot vacuum. That was for yeah, her birthday yeah. as well. And, in fact, the entire family put in for it. So it wasn't just me. She was begging for a vacuum in the end because she kept on wanting one. I said, nah, we're not spending money on a, on a, uh, on a robot vacuum when you've still got plenty of good years left in your Is that what you that said? Around. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Anyway, and eventually, um, yeah, she wanted it for her birthday, so she got it. So, yeah, 100% Kizzy, I think. Um, I think it's a great idea. It depends how you frame it, obviously. It could get tricky. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, I'll never forget um, uh, one year I got my wife a clothes iron. Oh, yeah. Um, just a, like an ironing board and an iron there. She was in tears. Yeah. Um, tears she of chased happiness. She chased oh. you down the road with it, didn't yeah, she? Yeah. 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 So, no, look, I don't think getting any kind of fitness thing for your wife is sending the wrong message at all, Keys. Right. I think that's going to go down really well. Yeah. Really? Yeah, totally, man. Are you sure? Can I just yeah, recommend, yeah. though, what you want to do in something like that, because it is a romantic gesture, you've got to admit that, Yeah. Um, is you just want to set up a camera somewhere just so you can capture her reaction um, and so we can put it on the Big Show Instagram page. Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That'll go down really well. What do, do, do our fans sort of want to see a video of my wife being like, oh, thank you, Keezy, that's so thoughtful. I oh, love we'll, you. We'll judge her once we see it. Yeah, right. Totally. Yeah, we yeah, might, yeah, we yeah. might have to edit it a bit. Um, okay. And, but this is the thing, Keezy, and I've talked to you about this often with regards to your wife. If there's any issues in your relationship, she'll give me a call. Right. Um, and it's yeah, not an issue. True. Often it's in tears. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know what I mean? And we work through it. It's okay. Well, We've got your back, Keezy. So are you 100% sure she won't be upset? 100. Okay. Because I, I mean, I have a backup present. Oh, what's a backup present? Um, Jenny Craig subscription. <laughs> <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at 4 on Radio Hodaki. The Big Show live from uh, Brewcraft Beer Pub and. <laughs> In each street there. <laughs> I just had a bit, a bit of a senior moment there, but right now it's time for... You and half the pub. Who's got the biggest tool? Yeah. Oh. So and I believe, fellas, uh, we've got Chris on the line. Yeah, but hang on, just oh, quickly, before, before that... Just before we get to Chris there, who's got the biggest tool? It's thanks to our mates at Placemakers. The Monster Tool Sale is on right now. The best prices on the best tools. I've uh, got another couple of weeks of this bad boy as well, so get involved with you. Go in store or go online, Jace. Sure. Uh, and whoever wins who's got the biggest tool, you'll get to win a uh, Milwaukee M18 Fuel Hammer Drill Driver oh, set. Oh, so good. Plus a battery and a charger worth over $500. Oh, too good, Keith. So it's worth doing. Now, 
Now, I believe we've got Chris on the line from Christchurch. Uh, Chris, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, living good, boys. How are we all doing? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Whoa. Wow. You can't, you're coming in hot there, Chris. Are we going good, mate? One of the uh, audience members here at Brewcraft Beer Pub, so shocked by the sudden uh, noise out of the speaker here that his glass eye fell out. I just yeah. want to say, yeah, he did. Hey, uh, Chris, what do you do for a crust, mate? I'm a sparky, Jay. Oh, backbone! Massive backbone. So you love your tools there, Chris? Oh, yeah, man. I'm a big Milwaukee boy already. Yeah, oh, big, yeah, nice. Old Milwaukee over there. Uh, Chris, tell me, do you like ohms? <laughs> do I like what, uh, sorry? Do you like ohms? Because you're a sparky. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love them. Yeah, and yeah. the volts yeah, as well. Yeah, that's sparky chat, fellas. Yeah, you're yeah, on that's your so yeah. good. That's so good, Jeez. buddy. Now, this is how this goes, uh, Chris. Uh, each of us here, i.e. myself, Keezy and old Moogie, uh, try to convince you who's got the biggest tool and you make a decision, all right? How does that sound? Oh, that sounds pretty good, boys. All right. Do you want to kick us off, Keezy? Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Hard to, all right. Hey, Chris, are you there, man? Yeah, I'm still here, man. Hey, Chris from Christchurch, man, listen, I don't know if you've been listening the last couple of days. Of course you have. It's the big show with old Jace, Mike and Keezy. Hoodie Jay's won the last two days in a row, mate. It's not going to be him. Uh, we're not going to do it three in a row. That's just stupid. You know full well, you know, there's a lot of jokes about, oh, who's got the biggest nose, blah, 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 blah. It's obviously Hoodie Jay. When it comes to the biggest tool, it is old Keezy, all right? I sit here smug knowing that I have got a massive tool. All right, so just keep that in mind no matter what these boys say. Old Keezy, yeah, huge uh, too. Well, this is the thing, isn't it, man? I mean, those who talk about it probably haven't got it, and that sounds like a lot of chat coming out of Keezy. Oh, well, hang on. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to blow my own trumpet, man, although I could if I wanted. But I'll just tell you... Hey! Hey! Yeah. You need a big hanky if you're going to blow yeah. that trumpet. I'll just say, man, she's a pretty big tool over these ways, boy. Yeah, good stuff, uh... Look, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Chris. Uh, if you saw my tool, you'd <laughs> gasp. Um, so that's all I'll say. And the fact that Keezy said Hoity J won't win it three days in a row, don't believe a word he's saying, mate. Uh, just go with your gut on this. Who's got the biggest tool in the big show? What do you reckon, Chris? Oh, I'm going to go for old Mogi, I think. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mogi. I talk a good game, man, but I got nothing, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, just stuffing socks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Chris. Uh, Brooke, who are we going to next there? Hello, Hodaki, who are we speaking with? Somebody? Anybody there? Jack! Jack, Jack you yeah, man bastard. Jack. How's life? Don't be shy, Jack. Jack. Here he is. Jack, you there? Yep. Yeah, yeah you sure, just, man? Hey, Jack, what do you do for a crust, mate? Oh, I'm a bean counter. A bean ca- a oh, counter? Backbone! Back, oh. Backbone. Just me Sorry, on the man, line. Sorry, man, the, oh, the yeah, line no. broke up. Yeah, all right, Jack. Uh, so it's not Mogi with the biggest tool. Who are you running with? Oh, it's got to be Keezy, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you and the rest of the nation, mate, you're uh, obviously... It's not Spit me, it Jack. It's <laughs> not me. It 100% yeah. is not me, Jack. Yeah. Sorry, mate. We all know that, Keezy. We've seen your button mushroom. Oh, um, <laughs> let's go to the uh, another caller. Who are we speaking to? Hello? Hello. Who's this? This is Craig. Here you go. Yeah, good, thanks. Craig, you mad bastard. What do you do for the crust, mate? I'm a chippy. Oh, backbone! All right, Craig. Good pretty, on you, mate. Pretty simple. Who's got the biggest tool? Jace does. Yeah. Of course he does. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Good Obviously. on you, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Craig. I'm sorry, what is this game? Is <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of this game? I don't get I have it. no idea, but tell old Craig Give what he's away won there, What has Craig won? Hey, Craig, you there, man? You, yeah, mate. Yeah, cool, man. Um, <laughs> so you've won the knowledge... That Jason Hoyt has got the biggest tool. You've also won yourself a Milwaukee M18 fuel hammer drill driver battery and charger worth over five hundred dollars. Oh, that's wicked! Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. It's pretty sick, G. I love that sort of shit. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Right now, it's time for. Oh yeah, hey guys! Text here from Steve. <laughs> 
What's for Tea New Zealand with me, Keezy. You'll be needing some tea, Keezy. What do you mean? Just some chips or something like that. Put a bit of bit of substance in your belly there, fella. Why is that? Oh, I just, you know, it's good if you're having a few beersies to, you know, get a bit of food in the old gullet as well. <laughs> I don't have a gullet. Right, okay, yeah, cool. Do I have a gullet? you got a gullet, you got a gullet. I've got a gullet, he's yeah, got a gullet. Got a gullet. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all got a gullet. As long as we've all got gullets. Everybody's I mean, got a gullet. Admittedly, your gullet's massive, but... Because um, isn't a gullet something a bird has? It's just like your throat. Yeah, it, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't I get wouldn't bogged get, down yeah. in the details yeah, okay, about it. I guess the point being you should have something to eat because you're mago, you're a little bit steamed. Right, okay. Yeah. Because if we're pointing out stuff that birds have, then we should point out your two beaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, look, a lot of text coming through on, th- <laughs> on three... <laughs> On oh, three four eight three, uh, people really fellas fired up about texting in on what they're having for dinner tonight. Yeah, okay, go on, man. Get us, Keezy. Come on, buddy. And can I just say it's really good to see? Uh, so, of course, everyone the text through on three four eight three in the draw for a fifty dollars night and day voucher. G'day, guys. Having a bacon and egg pie washed down with three warm <laughs> Lyon rouges. Yeah, oh. yeah, backbone stuff. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious, stuff. man. So good. Um, by the way, just a heads up, the computer I'm using... is the one I, you spilt your beersies on. After I spilt that pint on it, um, it no longer remembers passwords or email addresses. Yeah, right, it's good. Okay. I'd be saving that money you're going to spend on your wife. I think you're going to be uh, buying old pug son a new computer, brother. Yeah. She'll feel uh, happy in the knowledge that that's where her birthday cash is gone. Yeah, she's going to be stoked on it. G'day, fellas. Having a couple of Winnie Blues and burnt meat patties down here in the deep south. Yo, Cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The old Winnie Blues and Burnt Meat Patties. The old Hoity J Special. (laughs) (laughs) How about this text here, fellas? G'day, guys. It's Mrs. Keezy here in Auckland. Having a big old bowl of pork mints tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Watching the latest episode of Dog Squad. Cheers. (laughs) Sounds like a great night. Uh, G'day, you sickos. Making a cashew and coconut curry for my mum tonight. Yeah, that's from Dave. Yeah, that sounds good. Good on you, Dave. What else are you having that, though? You can't just have cashews and coconut. Oh, a bit of lemon zest, some black Black uh, crab pepper. pepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Any any meat or anything? I reckon chicken thigh. (laughs) Who puts chicken in a curry? Yeah, piece? come on, Keezy. Honestly, Literally, man. Pull it really? together, man. Come oh, on. Sorry, I was under the impression that... <sighs> this is a serious segment, man. Let's is go. it? Okay, uh, well, in that case, g'day, guys. Having nachos for dinner. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. What's on the telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah. Yeah, um, I watched another episode of Seinfeld last night. Oh, oh sweet! Let's sake. talk about that. <laughs> I'm just going to can this from now on. Um, yeah, sorry, fellas. What one was it? I've honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Right, okay. So you t- I, I tell you hard. what was weird, man. This isn't strictly speaking uh, TV chat, but I woke up in the middle of the night and I thought, oh, the, I must have left the bathroom because I got an ensuite. I thought I must have left the bathroom door open. There's light coming in from from outside. Right. Because uh, it was fierce pissing through the door there. And uh, I got up in the morning, still dark. I don't know if you guys have noticed how dark it is. It's so dark at the I opened moment, the door isn't it? and, and the cold. bathroom light was on. It had been on all night. Wow. Are you serious? But I mean, it, it was weird, man. What's that? Because it's right there. It's right there. I could literally see it when I went to sleep. I'm right beside that door. Sure. But it wasn't on. But you didn't go for a midnight steamer? Yeah, I was going to say you didn't do an unconscious I don't, midnight I don't, steamer. When I, go in, when I go in for my steamers and wheeze, um, I don't turn the light on and I do sit down wheeze. Right. Because I don't yeah, want to be woken here. up. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and, and just on that front, I mean, I don't want to digress into um, chat chat, but I don't tend to do my steamers in the en suite. I've, do you know what? In 47 years, it's happened to me once, and yeah. I remember it very clearly. An emergency steamer in the middle of the night had to yes. get up and do it. Keezy, it's, you know, it's bread and butter, but for me, it was very odd. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's like, my bread and butter, I, I don't like to do a steamer in the en suite and then, you know, go back to bed. If I'm going to do ripping. a steamer, I just go into the other one. But anyway, I watch the Apple Falls on uh, TVNZ+. Plus. Oh, is that with Sam Neill. Uh, yeah. Annette Benning. Annette Benning. Very much looking forward to it. It looked really great on, uh, you know, on the shorts that I saw. Also, the character that played uh, the horrendous boyfriend on the first series of The White Lotus. Very funny. Uh, very funny guy. So, an amazing cast. It was terrible beyond measure. 
great. Wow. It was horrendously bad. Out of five? Out of five, half a star. Um, it was <laughs> so over the top and so melodramatic. And the storyline was so stupid mm. that my wife and I watched another episode just to see how bad it got. So, oh, and it was it was bad even the second episode? Even the second episode. It was worse. Oh. Right? And the storyline is so ludicrous that you're going, this is just insanely bad. And this is from a guy that loves Sam Neill, that loves Annette Benning, that loves that guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, like a really good cast. It was shit house. And what was it called? Talkback. It was called the Apple Falls Keys. Oh yeah, okay. What did you watch? Some country calendar pigs what? digging up truffles or something? <laughs> How did you know? Just a wild guess, man. No, what I did was woke up at four AM this morning and thought, Oh, better get up, we're going to Rotorua and then looked and it was like, Oh, it's four AM cool, I've got three hours to kill and then yeah. watched a whole lot of things on YouTube about rugby league. Until what time? Until quarter to seven, then had a shower, and then had brekkie and went to work. No, oh, good on you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that stuff, sucked, man. So you did a steamer at midnight. No, you did a steamer um, at midnight. Then you woke up at four and watched YouTube in the bed while your lovely wife was trying to sleep. No, no, no I wonder went to she the... rang me at six thirty in tears this morning. <laughs> I, I mean, you. that was my alarm clock. Is your wife ringing me up in tears saying, "Bloody keys, he's watching the book." Believe on his phone for God's sake in bed. Yeah, that's what happened. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Beautiful Rotorua City. I'm telling you what, fellas, uh, I don't know what your plans are after the show tonight, but I'm off to a hot pool. Oh yeah. I think I'll have a bit of a, a, a bit of a slough, a bit of a, a soak. Yeah. Uh, then I might get a bit of a rub down before I go back to my hotel room, so I'm tickety boo for a good night's sleep tonight. What are your guys' plans? I've got a uh I'm just gonna do a swim across the lake. Oh the lake. Yeah. yeah, okay, nice. No, it's probably about a, I don't know how long it'll take, probably seven hours, eight hours, something like that. Yeah, it usually took me about five, but that was back in the day. Was that, yeah, sorry, yeah, is that to go I mean? all the way across the lake or to the little island and back? I go right across the lake and then I go um, round the island. That's do a lap? Of, I do 25 laps. Of the island? Of the island. Wow. And then I go back over to the other side again and then I come back and I do 25 laps the other way of the island because I'm feeling a bit dizzy after wow. doing 25 laps and then go back to the other side and then I come back um, to this side okay uh, yeah, so about and, then seven. I go, and then I go back to the other side oh, alright okay. yeah so it will be about 7 for you then and then do yeah. taxi back and or then something. I, I um, get a bus back to the start Okay. Yeah, back to the hotel, and then I swim back across the lake. Again. Yeah, no, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, no, what are your plans, uh, Keezy? Uh, well, to be honest, I might join Mogi for a swim if he's going to be doing that after this, because that sounds pretty sweet. Um, and oh, then, I thought you and I could have a nice soak in a hot pool, Keezy. Uh, well, pro- bit, bit, you know, just so you could chill out a bit. I mean, Mogi prefers to swim a solo, if I recall correctly. Well, I don't like having to look after people that, yeah, are, you yeah. know, that are, you know, can only manage a doggy paddle. Nothing personal, Keezy, but you're well, a very just, weak swimmer. That seems quite personal. And, I mean, you've never and, even seen that. Can that. I just say and as well? And arm floaties. Right. You know what I mean? And the beauty of these hotel, this hotel that we're staying in is every single room has got its own hot tub. Yes. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah. Proper spa pool out the back. And, of course, they just use the, um, the steamers. Oh, the natural thermal. Yeah, that's right, just to um, heat things up. So it's bloody good, actually, and that causes a beautiful aroma that um, we were talking about before that Rotorua is oh, As soon as that before. hit my massive nostrils, uh, yeah. it, was a, it was a smell of home You said you me, could Mogi. smell it um, I could smell from it the Bombay it. Hills. Yeah, I could. I could. Yeah. He certainly could. Well, I, okay, well, if, we, if we're doing a hot tub situation, I'll probably go with Hoity J. Uh, the reason I wanted to go for a swim with you is because I want to see your burnt meat patty nipples out Well, I was going to say, if you are going to do the hot I'll tub I'll come with, with you, Jason. I'll see your burnt meat oh, patty uh, nipples, but getting steamed. Uh, no, no, can I, I was going to say, if you are going to come in the hot tub with me, could you wear a rasher top? Because yeah. uh, A rasher top? Uh, as I say, I'm, I've been feeling a bit queasy all and show. And seen your burnt meat patty nipples <laughs> would make me throw make up. Me, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, to the listener, all three of us have burnt meat patty nipples. Uh, but we're here for uh, Crank Works. Long yes. story short, all right, it is a week long festival of mountain biking. It is a mountain bike extravaganza. It is. Uh, we were there all day today. Jump on the Hodaki Big Show's Instagram page and have a geese. Uh, I doing. tell you what, quite what? seriously, it was a bloody good set up there. Uh, oh. They've got all sorts of food shops and all that sort of carry on. Uh, there's a lot of activities going what on. What was your favourite shop? Uh, and in fact, you know, with the weather it is, as it is at the moment, it's, buddy, it's a great day out. Get oh, absolutely it. it was, Hoodie J. Absolutely it was. And, uh, you know, we had a bit of a yarn about it earlier, but I was actually blown away, blown away by the state of it. Bloody impressive. Yeah, I, absolutely, impressive. I'd be getting along, man, if yeah. I was anywhere near the joint. 
Yeah. I'll, I might do that tomorrow morning, actually, before we head back. I might do a couple of runs down the uh, down the track there before we head back, if that's all right with you, fellas. Oh, you do yeah, what you sweet. want, man. Well, but we're on. leaving at seven. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Well, there you go, you mad bastards. Uh, that's our uh, Rotorua show done and dust. And I tell you what, fellas, what a great time has been had by all. It's yeah. been massive, Jace. Put that, uh, put that one in the annals. Um, that's one of the all timers, I'd say. Not just live shows, but any show that anybody's ever done anywhere. It's, yeah, it's sort of like a movie. You know, it starts slow. We were building up, and then all of a sudden it was huge during five and six, and then uh, quieting down again, and just the right sort of atmosphere for me now to stick around for a couple more hours. And can I just say what how gratifying it was for me to see the locals turn up to uh, you know acknowledge a. a, a Local hero, I guess, an old hoity J, a small town boy done good up in the big city. And uh, yeah, well, the, the, the pats on the back, the hugs, the proud of your hoity J, all of that's meant so much to me. And I, and I, and I mean that sincerely. Yeah, it was. Um, it actually brought a tear to my eye. There was um, a bunch of people that rolled in, quite literally in mobility scooters. They'd been, uh, been in the same year as you at school, hoity yeah. J there and there. You know, it was it was touching uh, to see them try and stand up to hug you. Yeah, it was um, cool. And they were like, there had been three times as, as many people, except for um, a lot of people have obviously passed away from your year. So, and they were, you know, and they, we could have fit more, fit more people in here, but um, those wheelchairs and things were sort of yeah. blocking the fire egress. Look, I've I've <laughs> got to be honest with you, fellas. Uh, I was shocked by the condition of some of me old chums there from school days. Uh, Certainly the little worse for wear, but nonetheless, saluting a hometown hero, uh, I, it, it's humbling, and, yeah. I, and I thank all those punters I mean, that showed up to do that. I'm thankful just to see that many catheters in one place, you know? like That, that, was, was, that was crazy, just yeah. seeing them all lined up like well, that. Well, so was I, Keezy, because it means you're not using the toilet, and, you know, because I've been doing a lot of wheeze this show. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think, I'll be honest with you, fellas, I'm not too far away from a catheter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was, it was great to see. Do but they no, make them for chodes? But listen, seriously, yeah, well, they're going to have to manufacture my own personal one, obviously. Seriously, what a pleasure it's been uh, down here in Rotorua. Um, thanks so much for coming along. Thanks to all the other listeners out there. We'll be back same time, same place tomorrow. Yeah, I want to give a big shout out to Crankworks, the mountain biking festival, yeah. which is on uh, over the weekend here in Rotorua, a week long festival. If you like your mountain biking, if you like seeing people get mad, Massive air, uh, like I know a lot of the people here today do. Uh, then make sure you come down and check it all out. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, till tomorrow. See you later. Bye.